Hello all developers welcome back to all of you once again I am Nikhil from India and hope you guys are doing great. So in this video tutorial we are going to explore about business rule wherein I will cover what is business rule types of business rules and best practices of business rule. So let's go ahead without wasting our precious time. So the answer of our question is that if you want to execute JavaScript server side codes after and before insertion deletion query and updations of the record then you can create business rule and there are five types of business rule before business rule after business rule async business rule display business rule and query business rule all these are use cases as an example we are going to implement in this video tutorial and i have taken the simple use cases so that everyone can easily understand and in future if they are implementing the business rule then they can easily able to think when should I use which business rule and what should I write to achieve the functionality based on their requirement. So let's start with the display business rule use case that is once we will open the incident form then we should able to see the number of incident records created by the same caller and also show the link to open the list. So let's go ahead. So from the application navigator, if you will type business rule, then under the system definition module, you could see this business rules application menu item. So let's click that and it will show you the list of all business rules that have been already created. But in our case, we have to create new. And the business rules we are creating for the incident table so that here in the form you have to select incident and the purpose of creating this business rule is so color incident record counts and link okay after that uh, just this advanced check box then only it will show this when field and order otherwise that field will not show and you are you will not able to decide when should i use this business rule so i want to use this business rule on display of the form And I want to use this for active incident only and I want to use this business rule will have ITIL rule Done. and if you want to set the field values in on display business rule I am not going to set field value and based on condition if you want to abort the operation then you can click this box abort action if you will click this check box then let's suppose you are updating the record then if your condition will be matched then it will abort that update action and that time if you want to show the message also then you can write the message here but in our case we have to write the script so that we can able to show the number of incident records created by same caller so first i will create a variable here caller underscore id and then current dot caller id this caller id is the backend norm of the caller field so it, it will return the sys id of the user and 
what I will do below I will write the glide aggregate for the incident table records only so ga dot encoded query score id will be so this is our condition So here we have passed the incident table and here we are adding the condition by saying that uh, for this caller current record caller and I want to count then I will add aggregate after that we have to ask to the database by calling this query method okay then if we will receive something to then we will point that using this next method then we will return the count the sorry but here we have to show that Counts in the message. So, in the server side, to show the message, we have add info message. And I will say that there are. and count to store the count value i will create one variable counts get aggregate we'll say there are this many records created for the same color created for the same color okay and after that i want to show the link so that if i will click then i will be able to redirect to the list of all those records for that let's go to the incident dot list and here let me apply the filter color is and uh, let's suppose uh, this one david miller okay this is our filter right copy the query and Okay, first we have to face the URL of the instance and in our previous video we have created the script include script include let me open that The name is general info and there is a method that will return the url or the instance url so what i will do i will create an object of uh, this api in the business tool var gi means general info 
if you haven't watched my previous video i recommend you to watch that so that it will be easy for you to understand so here we have this method general generate record url so we can call this method right but uh, it will return the url for the current record but we don't want that we want for the list right what we can do we can create another function here generate list url right? And here we will pass table name and the filter. That's it. And I will copy this line, or else I will write for you. Let me construct the URL. So, first we have to get the instance URL by using this dot instance url property because once you will create object of this script in queue include this function will be automatically call and in that time uh, this property will be initialized to that particular object instance url and here the value we are initializing is from the instance property system property and this will return you the instance url so plus table name and of table name then we have to concatenate this one list dot do underscore and sys param underscore query plus query that's it and from here i will return the url that's it so so let me copy this function name let's save it let's go to our business rule So list URL will be will call that method gi dot generate list URL and inside uh, this method I will pass the table name and table name here you can access by sys this code class name dot to string the another we have to pass is the query so let me create the query here so from the list view we have to copy this query and I'll paste inside this one and this caller ID will be dynamic. Okay, then I will pass this query. And after that, uh, in the message i'll say to open those records okay a link and for link i will write the html code here and I want to open this in 
new tab click this uh, link okay and inside this we have to pass the list url and this message i will show using info message okay so that's it let's save it and let's see whether it is working or not okay so what i will do i'll go here and i'll open this incident record of which has color david miller so there are eight records created for the same color you could see and to open this to open this ro records it should be records right let me correct the spelling if i click this link is it not working? What? Okay, so we have passed the table name, we have passed the query, then why it is not showing? Let me check. Generate list URL. Table name also we have passed. Let me show this list URL in the message so that we can debug what is happening. See, this is the URL. I'll copy and paste here will show the list of records created by the same color right so that function is working but the issue is from this link save it so you could see here instead of href i have written href okay let me uh, okay let me save it again So if I will click this, you could see we have been successfully redirected to see those records created uh, for the same color. So let's start with second use case which is based on category I want to populate the assignment group once the category changes in new state and also want to log into the work notes means based on the category we have to populate the assignment group and not only that we have to log into the work notes also and for that what i will do i will create the system properties for each category and whenever category 
field will be changed. Then I will fetch the system property value with the help of category backend value. And then I will set into the assignment group field. And I will also log into the walk notes by saying that based on the category incident has been assigned to this team. So let's create a system property for each category here. So first I will open the dictionary of this field. And the way which I will create the system property is that square sys underscore properties is the table name. So let me create the system property. The value will be the sys id of the group. So let me open the group list also this user underscore group is the table name ok so I'll say incident dot hardware dot category so this is our backend value this one right and uh, for this category I will look for hardware so you could see I will copy the sys id and paste it I will save it so this is for hardware so for the software let me search for the software group let me copy the sys id let me update this value and this time see i am not updating the same record instead i will insert an stay so this is for software what else we have we have inquiry a network so let's look for the network group so we have network group also let me copy the sys id again i will change here network and i will update this value and again i will insert and stay the new record for network accordingly for inquiry and database also and I don't think that we have group for inquiry and for inquiry uh, strict. so there is ITS in uh, I hope the service disk group okay there is a service desk group let me copy the sys id and this is for inquiry insert any stay and the one is database and for database also i don't think we have group me search incorrect spelling ok there is a group for database also nice copy sys id database did the value insert and stay to make sure that about the system properties I will go to the list to verify so 
so you could see for each category system property have been created okay so our next task is to create a business rule so friends let's create the business rule so from the form also you can navigate to that place from where you can create business rule means uh, on the header if you right click and if you click this configure under that you could see this business rule Just click that it will show the list of all associated business rule of that incident table so let me create the new so the purpose of creating this business rule is to update assignment group as per the category I, I will type at the and the table is by default selected which is incident so let me see the advanced checkbox and we have to execute before insert or update and the filter condition is if category changes if the category will change and it will be new only and if you want to add the roles also ITIL we can add the role let me save this business rule so in the advanced section uh, in the script field here I will write the script so first I will face the system property uh, that is the group value right group value uh, before that we have to get the category of the current record current dot get value and I believe the backend field name is category only okay and using this category we can face the system property value and that will return the group sys id right group id cs dot get property and the key here prop will be incident dot then I will concatenate the backend value of the category category because this is the way I have named the system property here incident dot database the category and the category now now this will return the group id then what we can do here is that we can directly set the assignment group from this variable post that i want to update the walk notes also by saying that as per the category okay and current dot this time get display value of the category as per the category 
this method current get display value will return the display value of that category field value okay which is i mean to say that uh, the field name category okay we'll have this label in this is choice list table records and the value uh, um, hardware okay. the label of that choice and the actual value is hardware so if i will call this method get display value it will return this label of that choice not the actual value as per the category this has incident has been assigned to the uh, plus current dot get display value of assignment group because if I will write get value it will return the sys id that's it and one thing is friend that you don't have to write current dot update okay because you are setting before insertion updations of the record so it will automatically take uh, these values and assign to this walk nodes and assignment group field let me save it so let's test by creating record so i will select uh, evil tutor as color and let's type test search description And let me save. Okay, you could see that assignment group field has not populated, but uh, this field, as per the category, incident has been assigned to this. Let me check. Is that tied by adding the info message? To print the property name here you could see i in i the spelling is not correct <laughs> save it and hope it will work now so let me update again uh, this value to inquiry and let me save it awesome so it is working so if i will change another category if i will change the network so the field assignment group has updated to network and if i will scroll down below you could see as per the category network incident has been assigned to the network team okay if i talk about the third use case we have is that once all the catalog tasks will be closed i want to close the ritm2 so let's go to our platform and then let's open the list of ritm records for that we have a table is c underscore req underscore it and dot if and if you will type like this list in capital letter it will open the list in new tab So from here what I will do I am going to create a new RITM by clicking this new button. And I think for now I will not select anything and okay let me save uh, let me save it okay. So the RITM 
record has been created. Under that, I am going to add the catalog task. So friends, I have created five catalog tasks for this RITM record. So when we close all these tasks, then only RITM record will be closed. For that, we have to write the business rule in SC task table because we are going to change the state in SC task table record. So for the SC task table record, we have to create the business rule. So let me create the business rule and I will create the new business rule and I will say close RITM record and I want to uh, update the parent record for the update of the catalog class record so this business will be executed after update and when we change the state when we change the state and the state will be one of close complete close incomplete and close skipped right and let me save it let's go to the advanced tab and let's write our script so first we have to fetch how many records are there for the RITM record means we have to count the number of SC task records available for RITM so first I will fetch the RITM ID so in the SC task table there is a field called request item and the backend name is request item only so by uh, doing this dot work it will return me the item id and which i am store in this variable post that i will count total c underscore pass no i don't know for that i will write the script here T underscore pass. For that, I have to use the glider aggregate and I have to add the field like this TS dot T task dot add query. Request underscore item means the task we are referring to the same RITM, right? Now I will say aid query. Add aggregate. Sorry, I have to add the aggregate to count and push that. I have to ask to the database by calling this query method. If database will return something, then we have to point to that object by using next method. And after that, I will initialize the value into this total SC task by the count t underscore task dot get aggregate.
ओके नो वी हैव गॉट द टोटल रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ इस टास्क व्हिच इज रिफरिंग टू द सेम आर एटीएम नो वी हैव टू फेच टोटल क्लोज टास्क राइट क्लोज अंडरस्कोर टास्क and i will see here one because while comparing if your this cat aggregate will not be executed that means the zero value will be same so it will say that all task have been closed so you can close the array team but i don't want to do that so i have kept one here let me copy this paste here and i will change the prefix ct and I have to add the another filter encoded query that is to verify the closed task, right? And for that, three, four, seven. After that, I will take if this one total closed task will be same as total SC tasks. Then I will update the RDM new. Client record and the table of item record is sc underscore rq underscore item. Dot id query. And here, as we know, the RATM ID. Let's use that dot query. And if we will get the record, we have to point that using the next method. After that, we have to set the value. And the value here uh, RATM dot update. And before setting the state value, I want to set the I uh, walk notes also of the RATM by saying that all the catalog tasks have been closed okay for now let me set the value as per the current record okay but there will be one thing i will discuss about that 
the catalog tasks have been closed. And each time I will compare. Okay, uh, not compare. I will print. Like this, uh, total tasks just for the verification that my script is running perfectly. Okay, and total is the tasks. Add info message. Total closed tasks. Total closed tasks. Okay. Let me save it. Let me open one of the record. And let me change the state to close complete. So total task 5 okay and total close task is 1. Just now I, we have closed one task. Let me open the another one. close complete me open the third one close complete me save it so total task is 5 and total close task is 3 right Close complete. So total close task are four and total task are five. Last one. Um, hopefully. Close complete. So it should update the RATM record but it hasn't updated because E we have missed here <laughs> nice let me open it save it let me close complete now if I'll go to the RITM record you could see it has closed complete and friend the most important thing here is that we are checking for this three right but we have to check for close complete only because if any of the record will be close incomplete then we have to update the RITM record to close incomplete. In this case, what I will do, I will update uh, this filter is and I will say close complete. Not here only, in the script also. We are checking for 3, 4, 7 and we have to check for 3 only. Okay, not for the 4 and 7, C means the close complete. Let me save it. Close RATM record if close complete. means for other uh, you can write the business rule for them 
for other state or uh, else you can use the same business rule and you have to check this state inside the script and based on that you can decide what to do with the RITM record and that you can do let's proceed with the use case number 4 before that we need to differentiate between after an async business rule I am not comparing with the before business rule because this after an async business rule both executes after database operations however after business rule executes immediately an async business rule gets scheduled in the queue and once it will get the chance then only execute it means if you don't want to perform anything immediately after database operation then you can use async business rule so the use case is here when the RITM will be closed complete then I want to send a notification to the AC tasks assignment group manager by saying that your team has closed RITM successfully in the wake of that I have created uh, event here and using this event I will trigger the notification which I have already created for you so when this event will be triggered using the business rule then this notification uh, will be triggered because here send when I have selected event is fire and the event name is this one which is same as uh, this and other who will receive the recipient I will pass from the parameter and what it will contain I would like to show by clicking this preview notification button so it will show uh, the subject and body like this your team has successfully closed the RITM uh, number and body hi and the manager name of that SC task assignment group and after that uh, this message will be appear and if you want to open that RITM we can click this link that's it so here uh, for this RITM I have assigned the assignment group and each group has their own manager so once this uh, state will be moved to the close complete then I want to trigger this notification through this event so I will create the business rule So here, uh, just wait for a while. Here I will say send notification to task manager. and click this advanced checkbox and I am going to use the async business rule and which will be update and the condition will be state changes and state is to close complete now I'll go to the advanced here script save it first so 
so first i have to uh, collect the r atm catalog tasks means i have to do the guide record query here is task okay grc task client record wherein we have field called request item dot id and the filter will be like this request underscore item request item stores of sys id value of the rtm record so means we can use the current record sys id of the rtm record to stream dot query now i'll ask to the database <coughs> after that as many records i will receive next that many times i have to fetch the manager id of the assignment group so i'll say group underscore manager underscore id and dot assignment group dot i can access manager dot to string after this line i will call the event event two and the event name is this one let me copy the event name i'll paste here and after that the current object which is ritm record after that parameter 1 will be the group manager id and after that i want to know the manager name group underscore manager name all we have to do here is that i'll copy this line assignment group then i will say dot get display value and here i will pass the field name manager that's it and let me save it so let's test our business so if i'll go here to the rtm record and if i scroll down towards the deleted list and if i will close all this task and if i'll change the state to close complete it will automatically change the state of ritm record to close complete based on our previous use case nice so if i'll scroll down above scroll up above sorry could see the state has changed to close complete so from the application navigator if you'll type emails you could see the email logs Uh, so you could see only for two user it has trigger and the reason can be the user preferences also so in the item record if i will check for uh, this database group manager and if i will open the record so you could see the email is this one right but uh, for this user email is not triggered what i will do i will impersonate this user down good life okay so let me impersonate this user 
again good life and let's check the preferences notification email is first of all the email is inactive okay you have to enable the email notification after that the primary email c is this one now for this user also that email will be trigger so hope you understand to use using business rule so friend talking about query business rule query business rule you can use to add the encoded query using the current object and sometimes we use to hide the asl restriction message in the list view and there is community link i will paste in the description also if you go through it will be easy for you to understand but as per the use case what i will do uh, so only active tasks to iti users okay uh, for the task list i'm going to create the query business rule as i said uh, we can use to add the query for example task dot list So here, I will look for active task, and now I will copy this query. Post that, I will create the business rule for this task table. Configure. Business rule. Not only that, uh, it is just the simple, but you can make it complex as per your requirement. I will say testing CBR. Advance and. this is the query business rule so you see after database query uh, there is no meaning there is no sense of adding the filter query so i am going to use the before query and if you will add this filter condition it will not make any sense and i recommend you that if you go through this link it will be easy for you to understand so for itl user right done what i am going to do is that i am going to use current dot query this one and I am also. I will also show you the messages. Add info messages to know that what filter query has been applied. Current dot get encoded query. Ah, uh, get encoded query. Okay. And let me save it. so again if i'll go to the list so you could see this swing active equal to true order by number so hope you understand uh, when should we use the query business rule 
so friend thank you for watching this video tutorial and if you really like this video please do subscribe and share and i will come with next upcoming so friend thank you